Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So far, what we have seen in Karate that uh, every time we have to create a feature file like post API and get API dot feature and then individually we were running it from run as a cucumber feature like that. But it's not a good practice that right? every time you are not going to execute number of files like this. You want to create a runner and in that particular runner you want to create one java file with junit and then just like we have in testng right testng.xml file same thing you can create a runner in junit also and then we can execute uh, different uh, test cases we can write and then we can execute number of feature files according to the test case so how to do that so for doing this first of all i'll do one thing that uh, let me upgrade some formatted xml file let me upgrade the dependencies of uh, karate so the latest version of karate core that I'm using it that is 1.2.0 RC4 and Karate J Unit 5 also I'm using 1.2.0 RC4 this is the latest version they recently released you can quickly uh, check that over here as well that Karate Core you can search for that and here you can see that uh, this is RC4 they have released and January 2022 so I'm using the same one same thing for Karate Core also you can check it so both are having the same version I'm using it then I'll do one thing under my SRT test Java. This is my feature directory or package that I have created. Under this, I'm going to create a runner. For example, let's see, this is my a test a runner class. This will be a J unit class. Okay. So what I'll do here in this particular test runner, just like we create at the rate test annotation, we have to create the exactly same thing. But this time we have to create a method over here. For example, I'm going to write a test method that uh, let's see get api a uh, test method that i want to call this and then here you have to write instead of at the rate test annotation you have to write at the rate karate dot test that you have to write okay so simple write at the rate karate dot test and this at the rate karate that you have to import from uh, j unit 5 api so what you just need to do is that uh, here, if the import is not coming, you can manually import this so, so, J unit uh, 5, this one. And then here we have, uh, see this karate that you have to use it. Okay, so if the import is not coming automatically, you just simply add this particular import. And then you have to return, instead of writing public void, you can remove this also. And uh, this, the return type of this will be karate actually. Okay, and uh, here what you have to do, you simply write return. And then I'm writing karate dot run method that I have to use. And then you have to give that which feature file path that you want to execute. So you have to give the path of feature file. But here you don't need to give the complete path because this runner and all these feature files are available in the same directory. So you just need to give that which file that you want to execute. So let's say I want to say get API or feature file that I want to do that. You don't need to write dot feature that is not mandatory you can avoid that so whatever the feature file name see get api dot feature the exactly same name that you can give it over here and then you have to give that is a relative to and then get class method that you have to use it over here like that okay so this get api dot related to it will map it will search that get api dot feature in the same directory and then it will try to execute from there so what we have to do, this is the new Karate J Unit 5 feature that they have added. This is a runner. In J Unit 4, if you are using Karate J Unit 4, the runner will be different. But here it's very straightforward like this. So you simple right click on it and go to run as J Unit now. Well, let's see if it is actually picking or not. So here you can see, yes, the test is actually uh, running. Obviously the data is not found because now this API is actually old. And the data is also deleted but we are not bothered about it so we will see that okay yeah this is html report got generated just copy this html report path from here to here you can see dot html file and then we can simply open in a new tab and then here we can see that yes the get api dot feature actually got executed so obviously right now this user is not available so that's perfect no worries that we are not bothered about it right now so that's why it's giving you 404 not found Okay, but you can see that uh, you can create a simple runner and then you can simply execute it like that. So likewise, I'll do one thing. I'm going to create some other <coughs> uh, test methods also. Let's see, this is my get API. Then I'm going to write uh, post API test. So in post API, 
what is the feature file that is you can use it post api dot feature so i'll simply write this is my uh, post api and then i'm going to create some other let's see this is update and this is delete so i'll write this is my uh, put api so this is i have already created uh, this put api dot feature here you can see that or any feature file feature file wise you can create your test cases and then this is my delete api test and then this is my i have a delete api also yeah this is i have so i'll simply say delete api uh, api dot feature like that so these are the test cases that i have created so n number of test cases you can create and then let's see run as j unit test and you can just simply open the console and you can open the j unit console also here you can see that this also you can see that and uh, here you can see that in the feature file that this is the step is going on number one feature is running and then one of three and two of 20 all these things you can see and then finally you will see the report over here so here for every you know at the rate uh, karate test that you have written for everything it will generate number of reports over here see this is the karate summary.html file will be generated under your folder the uh, package that you have created uh, sorry not package that project that you have created target folder it will create karate reports folder over here so i'll do one thing you just simply right click on it and then simply refresh your project and here you will see under target all the different html files will be available so you just simply open your karate reports and here you will see different html files see feature post api.html get api.html delete api.html and then the summary.html timeline.html also we will see that and then i'll do one thing from target right click on it go to properties we will directly open this entire file path in the browser so let's open it over here and here you can see that yeah i have karate reports open that or any html file that you want to open for example let's say i want to open the uh, this time post api.html so you right click on it open a new tab and then you can see what is the current result of this obviously right now this data is not available so which is fine and then same thing you can check that uh, other reports also let's see post api.html here you can see that yeah this is working fine here you can see status is 1201 but we are getting 422 we can fix this thing later maybe some token is expired or maybe something else we will see that later on and then uh, we can see that put api also summary.html and then timeline.html also you can see in timeline that how much time are taken by the individual apis that also you can check it over here and then this is the tag that we are not bothered about it like that and in here this is the css and javascript supported files are available that we are not bothered about it other than that if you go to the parent directory and there is one more directory will be created surefire reports when you open that in the surefire report you have these uh, text files for example as you open this particular text file it will give you some uh, text file about uh, this particular uh, feature file the my test dot text file it's written over here and it will tell you what are different problems and everything summary of okay the things total test five five got fail like this okay that also if you really want to use it you can check it <coughs> later on now how to run the same test right now you're uh, running everything from the from eclipse by using the runner what you can do you can execute from the command line also with the help of maven so what you just need to do right click on it and go to properties make sure maven is installed on your system and it is already configured in your environment variable also so what you just need to do open your terminal so let's see this is my terminal let me just open it like this let me clear the console and then change the directory go to this particular directory so here you can see that uh, in my workspace karate youtube practice is there and you just need to execute this command maven uh, test and it will execute all the uh, feature file test cases that we have written over here it will execute that see you can see all my test cases are running here different apis are getting called okay and we are getting the response and everything passing the header request and everything and then it will tell you final report over here don't worry about the failure test cases guys because in the the data is actually we are using some hardcore data maybe or uh, some specific data for the validation that we are validating it which is absolutely fine because data is not available in the system right now okay so here you can see that uh, 
test cases are absolutely working fine and then and uh, it's saying please refer to this particular report for the test results so here it's saying because we are running from the maven when you run from the maven the report will be coming under target surefire reports so i'll do one thing i'll just copy this path okay and uh, let's open here and here you can see this in this path we have a feature runner xml files are available over here which is actually generated from the uh, maven and then again you go to the parent directory and uh, go to your karate reports once again and this is the latest report you can see at uh, yeah maybe yeah 735 you can see the latest report over here okay so you can just open any uh, html file see and the data and the result is coming over here like that perfect so this is the reporting part you can execute from the a runner file you can execute from the maven command also from the command line that also you can do that simple execute maven test and then it will be executing end to end and then you can create n number of test cases you can do that for example you want to create for example let's see json dot feature that also you can do that so i'll simply say okay fine this is my uh, json dot feature you just need to write json that's it and then i'm writing this is my json test okay and then <clears throat> if you really want to run you simple select this particular test and run as junit test i let's see see it's only executing this particular uh, json test over here so you can select the specific test that you want to execute right click on it and go to run as junit test it will be executed and then it will generate the report this is a file path you just copy this and then uh, paste it over here and here you can see json feature is absolutely working fine with uh, two scenarios are there so it will show you the report like this because in the json file dot feature file you can see there are uh, two scenarios that we have created scenario one and scenario two that is complex json reader and the uh, simple one so likewise you can create a uh, number of at the rate test karate dot test annotation and then uh, write a number of test cases according to the feature file so it will give you a better report individual report perfect so that's all for this particular video i hope you like it now next time onwards whenever you are executing any feature file you can directly execute from here as well or you can create a run file and then create one at the rate karate test and run that particular test method that is a better approach instead of running the feature file like that same thing you can configure in the maven also in the jenkins also we will give maven test and then we will see with respect to Jenkins as well later on. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching Navin Automation Labs. If you are liking this karate series, please share with others. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.